Well, good morning. Welcome to a bright and early start. Today, we are going to be doing a quick get ready with me. So if you're interested in finding out how I do my makeup and just having a little chit chat with me, grab yourself a cup out, grab yourself some water and let's get into it. Da, 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 making our Christmas memories. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a very early start to my day. It is currently 3.31 a.m. Yes. We are filming this at 3.31 a.m. Because we're getting ready and we're going to work. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to get ready with me. I've not done one of these in a long time. My makeup is the same whether I'm going to work or if I'm going out in like normal life. I'm just putting on some moisturizer. It is the LMS Hydrating Day Cream. I like it, I love it. I like the feeling of it. It's great. Honestly, if you ever used it, let me know. And let me know what you think of it. Am I like just overhyping it? Because it's like the first proper face cream I've actually used. This one if you are interested. Just gonna let that sink in and then we are gonna start the makeup. If you've known me, you know, I was never really a face primer type of girl. But my cousin was over recently and she convinced me to buy the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Yeah, I noticed the difference between a primer and no primer. I've got black fluff all over me and I don't know where it's coming from. Where are you coming from? Um, yeah, especially on flights, I uh, notice the difference when I don't use it now because my face goes all cracked and it's not nice. I thought that was just like what planes did to you because of the dry air. No, that's just because I didn't prep my face properly. <laughs> that smells so nice as well. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really fresh and so good. I always pull it down my neck as well. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I also should put a little disclaimer preference in. I am not a makeup artist. I do not claim to be. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just do what I like and I like what I do. Thing I've learned is either off YouTube or from my mum so that's where I've learned how to do makeup I do not know how to do it professionally if I do it in the wrong order that is on me I choose to do it that way I like the order I do it in and that is the fun of makeup you can do it any way you like whatever suits you whatever suits your preference you do you queen let that just sink in because we don't want to start adding products to the face when it's still a bit wet. We want it to be dry. This is actually, when's the, what day is this? This is day five of Vlogmas, isn't it? I've just checked the schedule. And I can't believe we're up to day five already. Like, that's so like, that's nearly halfway. That is actually nearly halfway. I know six is halfway to 12. You get what I mean, okay? It's fine. I believe it, it's actually been so fast. Like, it's going, to, December is going so fast. Don't care what you say, it's going fast. So for concealer foundation, I use concealers. So this is the one I use under my eyes and it is the Good Apple KVD one. I've got a new bottle because this one is nearly out. So I always carry a spare. And then for like the rest of my face or like my problem areas, I'll say, like around the redness bit is the Naked, well, Stay Naked Quickie 24 hour multi-use concealer. This one. I actually really liked it because it had the brush on it, but I've never actually used the brush. It'd probably be really good on the go. And I think I'm going to get another one soon because this is nearly out and I actually like it. So I use this to cover up this area because I'm so pale. I have a lot of redness that shows and redness really annoys me. So I like to cover it up. And then this KVD one is a lot lighter. So that one goes under my eyes and it's a lot thicker actually. That one covers up the problem areas because as you can tell, I have to wake up at silly hours of the day night, morning, whatever you want to class this time as. So it helps to cover it up. Then I'll use, what is this? 
a Rare Beauty brush, foundation brush, whatever it's called, and buff it into my skin. I used to use a beauty blender and I loved them, I can't go wrong with a beauty blender, but I was fed up at how dirty they were getting. I wanted to try something different, so I picked up this and I don't think I'll ever go back to a beauty blender now. I like the brushes. So I'm just gonna dab this into the skin. Always drag it down your neck. I'm actually filming this before a flight. Obviously, you can tell I'm going to work. I would not choose to be up at this time doing my makeup. But I'm very excited for this flight because I've never been before. Yes, it's the UK. I'm going to the UK. I'm going to Newcastle, which is actually quite exciting. I've never been, considering how close it is to where I'm from in the UK. I don't think I've ever been. And I've never done the flight, considering I've been in the company for eight and a half years. Never done it. Never done it. So I'm excited. It is on the 777. If you know me, you know it's not my favourite aircraft to work. I just prefer the 380. It's so much bigger. There's more space. Yes, there's more passengers. I work in business class if you're not sure. It's definitely a lot more work on the 777. There's less crew, a lot of passengers, and the workload is just a lot more because you don't have the extra hands from the extra crew. For example, on the 777, there's three crew, so one on each side of the plane, and then one is in the galley. On the A380, there is six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven crew. So it makes a difference having the extra hands. And that is, there is obviously a reason why there is obviously more crew on an A380 because there is more passengers. On a 777, there's 42 I want to say and then on the 380 there is 76. Moving on to concealer I've got the Rare Beauty and this is in shade Power Boost and for that I'll use a I think it's a buffing brush from Real Techniques and I used to like draw it on now I don't do that I like dab it onto the brush and then dab it onto my face I find it goes on a lot better for me personally so yeah, that's another option to use. What was I saying? I was talking about flight one night. I actually swapped onto this flight. I originally had a Johannesburg, which don't get me wrong, I don't know why I swapped because I could have gone and had a beautiful, lovely dinner tonight in Johannesburg. I had a lovely steak dinner, but I wanted to swap because I wanted to go and do some Christmas shopping. And I know if I had gone to Johannesburg, there wasn't really much option to go and do Christmas shopping where we are, well, where we stay. But I know in Newcastle, we have the facilities so close to the hotel that I can just pop out, pick up the bits I need, and then we can get Christmas shopping on the go because your girl still hasn't really started. I don't really have to buy that many people, but, I just, I stress out too much trying to buy Christmas presents, you know. I don't like it. I love the idea of giving people presents. I will buy people stuff all the time. It doesn't bother me of like, it doesn't have, like, that doesn't bother me, the buying people presents part. I just don't like the idea of the stress of buying people presents. I'll happily buy you anything you want any time of the year. But if you, if like my family needs something or like they want something or Clara says like, oh, I really like this, this dress or whatever, I'll just buy it, it doesn't bother me. So the pressure of Christmas is, is a lot. And then another thing, and I know he's gonna watch this, is my dad. Why are men, especially dads, so hard to buy for? Every year, we have the same discussion and the same back and forth for weeks and weeks where we just don't know what to get him. It's frustrating. Why are men so hard to buy for? My mum, she's easy, can buy you literally everything and anything. But my dad is just so hard to buy for. Hi, dad. <laughs> now that is all blended in, that is the contour done, just to warm up my face. I then use the Rare Beauty blusher in Hope, this one. And I'll just put two little dots on my face, not too much. And then we just start blending again. And that is gonna be with a Real Techniques brush too. It's just a different one. This one's called the Expert Face Brush. It's a slight angle 
to the brush. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go out and do some Christmas shopping. You will be coming with me, but that is gonna be a separate video, so keep an eye out for that one. I said this before in the vlogs that they're gonna be filmed slightly out of order if it happens, and my what I ate in a day went up yesterday. This is so bright. <laughs> Why is this so bright? And some of the comments are so cute and so nice. A few people said that the whole lifestyle change that I've going through has helped motivate them. And do you know what? That is so nice to hear because I do sometimes think I go on about it a lot. And I probably do more than I should. But it's so nice to hear that like it's motivating other people to just move. So what I do with my blush is I obviously put it where you're supposed to put blush. And then a trick that my mum taught me when I was younger is to drag it into your eye socket here. And I've done it ever since. So it all kind of like blends together. This side looks very bright and I don't know why it looks so bright. So I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just dab over it to like dull it down a little bit because that is a lot and I don't know why. I normally use that amount, probably a little bit more. But today that is just looking very peachy. That is all the cream products done. I'm just gonna let that dry on my face before I set it. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna go and fill them in with the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number three. And we will be back to do the setting and everything else. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Eyebrows are sisters, maybe distant cousins, they are not twins, okay? I've had a problem with my eyebrows for so long that they just don't want to be even. I've had microblading, I've had all sorts done, and they still just choose to be odd. So we're just gonna go with it. Now we're doing the brow gel. It is the Too Faced Fluff and Hold Clear Brow Gel. Just gonna put a little bit of this on to keep those brows in place because today is gonna be one long day. The UK at the minute is four hours behind Dubai. So by the time we land, we're gonna have to do four hours all over again. Yeah. Face is pretty much dry right now. And then we're gonna go set it. We use the NARS at the minute, the loose powder in translucent. Not gonna lie, it's not my favorite. I've definitely used better. I really liked the Laura Mercier one. Last time I bought it, it had like a yellow tint to it and it was definitely the translucent one like I checked it was definitely translucent so I didn't really like the last one I bought so that's why I picked this one up but I don't think I like this one either this one I don't know I just need to keep testing some good powders so I'll just dab this on I don't really bake my face when I do this I just dab it on and brush it off straight away just to take the shine off. Oh, another thing that I don't like about this is the packaging. I just don't really, I don't vibe with it. I don't vibe. I'm gonna use it until we are out and then we will pick up a new one. That is that done. And then we'll just take a big fluffy brush and make sure it's dusted off. See, the blush is like so bright today. and I don't know why it's so bright. I literally used less than I normally use. Now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow and the eyeshadow palette is this one. It's the Naked Sin in what palette is it? I think it's just called Naked Sin. Looks like this. It's the perfect palette for how small and compact it is. You can do so many different looks. I take the color Boring as the, the color of choice and I put that all over the eyelid like so i'm not neat by the way i'm far from neat with eyeshadow so with work you can either do one or the other or both you can either do eyeshadow eyeliner or both i used to do eyeliner like the winged eyeliner and then i don't know what happened overnight i just couldn't do it anymore i do eyeshadow and you can have more fun with eyeshadow because they obviously have colors that you can use. You can't obviously have like a bright purple eye. You have to have like neutral, natural colors. But I just think it makes it look a little bit more put together. Don't get me wrong though. I love a good eyeliner. I love using eyeliner when I'm going out for dinner or when I'm going out with my friends. I'll definitely put some eyeliner on. 
bought for work. I don't think it's necessary. I've got a different brush now and I'm going to put the colour Twisted on the outside as like the darker shade and then I'll just blend that in just to add a bit of depth and dimension. Pull it up into the crease as well and then I'll take the original fluffy brush and just blend it all together. You know what's really weird as well doing makeup videos is I used to watch these all the time when I was younger before I started YouTube or the idea was even an idea and be like oh I'd love to do that I'd love to be a makeup artist I don't think I'd enjoy being a makeup artist because that's a lot of pressure from other people but sitting here and doing my own video on makeup still not a makeup artist but just it's like a full circle moment. A lot of my audience is women, according to the analytics. But a lot of these are men as well, and I know makeup obviously isn't for everybody. But if you still sit here and watch a makeup video because I just ramble on about nonsense for 10, 15 minutes, I actually love you so much. <laughs> so we'll take a third brush and then we'll use the color TBH, which is a pink glitter. And then I'll just put that down the middle as like a little stripe of glitter. And then that is basically eyes done. Oh, I lied. There's one last step. We take the white shade. What's it called? Bad habit. Dab it in the middle. Dab it in the middle. Dab it in the corner. With your finger. I literally just plop it there. Brightens up the inner corner. We are so close to being finished right now. Then I will just take the setting spray of choice today. It's a Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed one. I've got a little bit left and then we are gonna move on to the next one I've got, which is already in the drawer, because I picked it up. Put a lot of this on. I don't really, I don't know if it's just my bottle, but the spray on this just isn't it. It's like, it hardly comes out or like it hardly gets on my face. I don't feel it. Anyway, that's why I'm using it until it's nearly over. Mascara of choice is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara, but in brown. It was the work at Sephora that got me onto the brown mascara. At first I was like, why would I wear brown mascara? But it makes such a nice little difference. Don't get me wrong, again, when I'm going out and I've got like the eyeliner and stuff on, I've got the exact same mascara, but in black. Brown one for everyday use is heavenly. Oh, really, Sophie? Excuse the blob of mascara on my face, but that is just one little coat of this mascara. It's so good. Don't know if it's the same formula in Dubai. The name is different. It's called, I think it's called Better Than Love in Dubai. If you're gonna look for it here. I've never actually used it. I bought this one in America when I was there in New York a couple months ago. I need to pick up a new one, so. Next time I'm over, I will definitely do that. And just like that, I am ready to commence my day. Makeup is packed up in its little makeup bag, which is gonna come with me. I don't know if that's what most flight attendants do, but I take my whole makeup bag everywhere I go. So that comes with me, that will go into my suitcase. That is the makeup done. I just need to obviously add lipstick for work and tie my hair up. But this is it, this is literally my everyday makeup if I'm going out, if I'm going to work. Obviously, if I'm going to the gym or if I'm staying home, I will obviously dull it down a lot. But I love putting makeup on. And I've definitely come to terms with my freckles. You will know, if you've been here from the beginning, if you're an OG, you will know I used to pack on the foundation. I used to do everything in my power to cover up my freckles. I used to love them, I still do love them. I never not loved my freckles little disclaimer when i was putting makeup on i liked the idea of a flat base where there was nothing seen but i'm slowly coming to terms with liking them you can still see them under the blusher under the foundation concealer here it just takes away the redness on the face and then i add more redness on my cheeks i am gonna go finish off getting ready for my flight that i'm gonna go do if you want to find out what i get up to on my flight then subscribe because that will be up on the channel soon but for now, that is going to be it. I hope you have enjoyed. Give it a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.